This week's parasha is the parasha of Yitro. And Yitro, who was the father in law of Moshe Rabbeinu, the Torah tells us, even puts the name of his, his name in the name of the parasha, Yitro, he gets a special name. What was special about Yitro? The Torah tells us, Vayishma Yitro. He was the priest of Midian and he heard the miracles that Hashem did to the Bnei Israel and he came and converted to become a Jew. What exactly did he hear? What miracles turned him on to become Jewish? Rashi says, he heard the splitting of the sea and the, and the war with Amalek. These two things, the splitting of the sea, when the Jews crossed the, the sea, Kadosh Baruch Hu made the sea split for them and they went through and drowned all the Egyptians in. That was a great miracle that till today, the archaeologists are speaking about it. And he also heard the fight, the war with Amalek that we won. These two things made him become Jewish. The question is, Everybody heard these two things. All the nations of the world heard about the splitting of the sea. It says in the Pasuk of Az Yashir Moshe, All the nations heard. Right? The nation of Moab, the nation of Edom. Everybody heard these miracles and nobody said, Oh, great, God is so great, I'm getting rid of my, my idolatry and I'm coming to become, I'm converting to Judaism. One guy converts to Judaism because he hears his miracles? Everybody heard them, and nobody did anything. So what's the difference between the hearing of Yitro and everybody else's hearing? And the answer is, Hachamim, our sages tell us, that when somebody hears something, there's a ramification in every hearing to different people. For example, if you, somebody became a millionaire, so the... Depends, who hears he became a millionaire? The family member becomes very happy for him, makes a kiddush on Shabbat, they say, oh, our uncle... Uncle Sam became so rich, let's celebrate, you know, maybe we'll get something too from it. You have the business people who hear, wow, this guy became rich. Oh, it's an opportunity for them to do business with him. Now, everybody wants to do business with this guy. Why? We can get a cut. We're going to get something for it. Then you have, obviously, the thieves. When the thieves hear somebody become rich, wow, it's a new job for them to do now. So, he hearing people who hear things, each person who hears some news takes it in in a different way. When a rabbi stands up on Shabbat morning and gives his sermon, and he tells everybody, wow, guys, Shabbat, it's so important, keep Shabbat, keep kashrut, keep family purity. So you have 200 people, three, 400 people listening to the sermon of the Rav. Many of the people listen to a sermon for entertainment reasons. He entertains them for 20 minutes. How many people, after of a sermon of a Rav, feels the passion of what the rabbi is saying? He says, wow, the rabbi is speaking the truth. I really have to change. I really have to become a better Jew. I really have to become a better servant to God. Out of 400 people, maybe 4 or 5. Why? It's because there's two types of hearing. There's hearing just to listen in the ear and goes out in the other ear. Comes in one and goes out the other one. And there's a hearing that you do with your heart. A person who has a good heart. He hears it. His heart is good. Now I want to change. I, want, I really see what the rabbi is saying. I really see these miracles. I have to change my lifestyle. That's much harder to do. That's one in a hundred, one in a few hundred. Sometimes it's even one in hundreds of thousands. Yitro was that one. Yitro, when he heard these miracles, he realized he's living his, his life is wrong. His life is a lie. When he found the truth, he said, I can't just be, can't stay in my job, the priest of of Midian, I have to go to the Jews. I have to convert. And that's why Yitro got the name, his name, on our parasha of the Torah. We call it parasha of the Torah. We can explain this with a, with a mashah, with a parable of somebody who's walking on the streets. And there's a traffic jam there. He's walking in the middle of the streets and everybody's honking to him to, to move. Beep, beep, beep. And he's just standing in the middle. So they're going crazy. They're, they're honking even now than now. So he turns around to the people and he looks at the cars and he says, I heard, what do you want from me? I heard, you're honking, okay, fine. I heard, you think I'm deaf? People are going crazy, he's in the middle of the street, he doesn't move. One guy gets out of his car and he says to him, Hey sir, what are you doing? What do you mean you heard? If you heard, take your feet and get to the sidewalk, get out of here. That's not called hearing. You heard in one ear and it goes out of the other ear. If you really heard and you really understood it with your heart, you really got the message, you wouldn't be standing in the middle of the road. So we have to ask ourselves this question, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the Galut, we're in the diaspora, we're here in the United States, wherever we are. 
And we know the truth. We know what the Torah wants from us. There's nothing hidden in the Torah. The Torah wants us to keep Shabbat, to keep Kashrut, to eat kosher, to do things, to be a servant of Hashem. We have to ask ourselves, are we really serving Hashem properly? Are we really listening to the messages that Hashem is sending us? Are we going to be like Yitro, who really listens with our heart, or are we going to be like the rest of the people? This is our choice, and this is up to us. If we be like Yitro, and we take it into our heart, and listen to God's messages properly, our name's going to be in the Torah, just like Yitro's name was there. The reward that we're going to get, you can imagine just to reward Yitro God. Everybody else heard the same thing, but they didn't do nothing about it. What happened to those people? We don't know who they are. They've gone, they've perished under the pages of history. Yitro made that move, made that change. Till today, we're speaking about Yitro. It's our choice. Let's learn this lesson from Yitro. And let's take the messages that Hashem is sending us, not only in our ear, but let's put it in our heart too. Thank you.